Mathematics and language are the two lenses through which a human being understands the world around them. Mathematics, however, answers all the questions, solves problems and creates metrics around the things in the world. Things like length, things like time, things like weight, things like energy, things like the luminous intensity, things which were never thought of to be measurable and human beings in the process of evolution have just measured the same. The idea of mathematics is to create a metric around madness. It's about creating a metric in the physical phenomenon, the phenomenon of the world, understanding the world through the lens of saying, let me measure it. Let me understand how deep, let me understand the intensity of it. Everything around us relates to math. Even music and art, things which please your ear, things which we consider entertainment, things which we think are feelings which human beings are unable to represent, are things which follow a mathematical pattern. Mathematics is all around us. Understanding and giving a quantitative twist to a qualitative phenomenon is what the journey of a mathematician is. Do we, however, have a pattern in our behavior, liking, or the choices we make? Is mathematics just restricted to the sciences or the physical phenomenon in the world around us? Or does it have the key to understanding how human beings themselves behave? Can we create a scale of understanding how humans perceive the world around them, their likings? In fact, that's exactly what technology has gotten us to. The artificial intelligence algorithms which exist in the world around us can tell you better about what song you might like next than you yourself can. But how do we create a mathematical structure around measuring any such immeasurable quantity? It's by understanding the world through mathematical frameworks, making humanly assumptions and creating metrics on it. Something as simple as length today might seem very intuitional for someone who's viewing this, which is a one kilometer, a mile, a meter. These seem very obvious, but these were convictive calls which humans of the past have taken. What we do today is embrace the frameworks which people historically have created, but that also gives you a chance to create more frameworks. Math gives you that superpower. It gives you that superpower to look at things rationally.